the Joe Rogan experience. Talk about physical any day meditation, <laughs> right? And still meditation. So let's just say like there's a meditation where you just sit still, yeah, and you just breathe. And actually, Wu Tang, right? So I'm gonna give you a little Wu Tang law. So Wu Tang, uh, the story is there's a monk named Chang Sang Fei who leaves Shaolin Temple because he feels that the physical exercise is not the pure way to enlightenment, mm. right? He thought that the Kung Fu was too external. Right, too many complications right. for the ego. And so he returns, so he retreats to the, to the mountain and he goes for internal Kung Fu. But in the process of doing internal Kung Fu, such as Tai Chi, uh, Zen Yi, uh, Bakwa, right? Mm -hmm. Like these techniques, like there's, there's this thing called the Ace Piece Brocade, where you just sit, you know what I mean? And you just do very small movements. You first you bang on the back of your ears. It's called banging on the heavenly drums to open up the back of your brain. Like if you do that right now, if you cover that makes your, sense. If you cover your ears, right? If you take the headphones off, right? And you cover your ears like this. You take your thumb like that, and you. Okay. Of course, it's louder, right? You hear, right? Oh, it's, it gives you like a little rhythm, right? right? So you do that first, right? And that's just to open up your, your brain, like to open that up, right? You do it while inhaling, exhaling, balancing your yin and yang. Right? That's one of the brocades. And it, so he made these eight pieces of brocade, right? Brocade, brocade means like something is blocked, right? Right? It's, I'm, I'm like right a blockade? The, right. So you want to open it up. Right. You want to open up these, open up your, your, your main vessels, you know what I mean? Okay. Uh, of course, being your ears, your eyes, your nose, your mouth. You know, that goes back to uh, Jesus saying the seven churches. What is the seven churches? And Jesus spoke to the seven churches. Well, he spoke to the two eyes, the two nose, two holes in your nose, your mouth, and your two ears. Mm. So he's speaking to a man. He said, out of his mouth came a double-edged sword. The sword, of course, no sword can come out of your mouth. Your tongue is that sword. Double-edged. Exactly. Yeah. So a Shout out to all the preachers to eat pussy, but go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wait, that's I P. Just said hey, that's P E P. All right, you got, you got, you got, you got, you got to make that an acronym. P E P. Uh, <laughs> right. Well, get down with P E P. Uh, yeah, you know me. Well, that's, uh, well, anyway, before the Conalingus uh, part of it comes in, right? Uh, before we get to I'm the sorry, Conalingus, so so Wu Tang itself, right? This guy leaves the temple, goes to the mountain to meditate, and he's dealing with still meditation, right? Okay. But. In all reality, when you mix it together, Wu Tang and Shaolin, you have the physical and the still meditation, and it takes both to actually find this level of enlightenment you're looking for. So when Bodhidharma came to Shaolin, he actually came from India. So Bodhidharma was an Indian monk who was more of a yoga student. He comes to Shaolin and he's trying to teach them the Indian way, but he realized that all the monks are too weak to sit there in their still meditation. And so he created something called the low hands, right? Or the 18 low hands or, right? And, and he, these forms and these steps were made so that now they could do a physical movement to build their body up so now they can meditate longer. Because you can have a strong mind, what's the use of a strong mind without a strong body? And what's the use of a strong body without a strong mind. Mm. So that's the yin and yang must be balanced. And so that's the Shaolin and Wu-Tang philosophy. So when we made Wu-Tang Clan, uh, and I'll go back to myself with this, we made Wu-Tang Clan as the name of our crew. We took the verse from the Bible about the double-edged sword and Jesus speaking, right? We said, okay, we're going to use our words and our wisdom and our spirituality to talk to the world through our music, right? But we also took that in the Wu-Tang law, they said the Wu-Tang martial art monks, they developed the best sword style, right? So we're like, well, we're the Wu-Tang. We have the best sword style. Mm. But we come from Shaolin because that's the, the, the well which springs forth, right? And so we took the physical of Shaolin as our base, the spiritual, the meditative force of Wu-Tang, and we put it together. And, we, and our album starts off, if what you say is true, the Shaolin and the Wu-Tang could be dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Bong, bong. Oh, my God. That's, that's hip-hop history, ladies and gentlemen. 